Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. The United States military may be a dominant presence on the seas, but they don't own it. For that reason, the U.S. Navy has endeavored to forge a mutually beneficial relationship with various forms of sea life particularly marine mammals like dolphins and seals, since the 1960s. Though this partnership has varied over the years, the primary focus has always been on ensuring naval operations like training and testing do not negatively impact sea life. For instance, during mine neutralization exercises, U.S. Navy marine mammal observers keep an eye out for dolphins and other animals while also monitoring animal movement and behavior before, during, and after the exercise. Dolphins are well recognized as one of the most intelligent animal species in the world. And because they can be so easily trained to work with humans, they have the potential to aid U.S. military efforts in a lot of different ways. The U.S. Navy Marine Mammal Program is a unit focused on using marine mammals like dolphins for a wide range of tasks. The most notable of all is mine hunting. Indeed, dolphins have remarkable sensory abilities, including echolocation, which makes them well-suited for detecting underwater objects. Throughout the decades, the U.S. has trained dolphins to locate and mark the presence of underwater mines, allowing human teams to go in and remove or disable them. During such operations, the trained dolphins will be deployed from Navy ships and equipped with special harnesses or cameras. Once they use their echolocation skills to locate a mine, they return to the ship and signal their handlers. It's important to note that the NMMP always emphasizes the ethical treatment and welfare of marine mammals. Moreover, humans are far more at risk of injury from a mine than dolphins. For instance, mines were a huge component of the Pacific Campaign during World War II. They also saw extensive use in and around Europe during this same time period. As a result, there are potentially thousands of unexploded mines still waiting at the bottom of the sea. This is why most navies have special mine removal groups and task forces responsible for locating, identifying, removing, and when required, safely detonating any found ordnance. The 
these men and women employ various methods and advanced technologies to detect the presence of naval mines. Including sonar systems, magnetometers, or remotely operated vehicles. Once a mine is found, each team must determine the best way to either neutralize or destroy it. As always, the goal is to remove the mine safely while minimizing any effects on animals or the environment. In recent years, dolphins from the U.S. Navy Marine Mammal Program have been sent to both Montenegro and Croatia to search for unexploded ordnance. The dolphins are kept in floating enclosures when not actively hunting and moved into position by small boats equipped with soft rubber pads. Once in the water, they will search for any items of interest and then alert their handler by touching a small paddle on the side of the boat. The dolphin will then be given a marker, which it will place next to the item so human divers can investigate later. Newly commissioned Navy ships will often undergo a wide range of tests and evaluations before it is put into service. Among the most important of these is what is known as a shock trial. This process is meant to assess the survivability and structural integrity of ships when exposed to underwater explosive events, such as torpedoes or mine explosions. They typically involve subjecting a ship to controlled, high-intensity underwater shock waves to simulate the effects of combat scenarios. Throughout the process, engineers and other personnel will use a variety of instruments to investigate the overall impact on the ship and its systems. Navy personnel don't only show concern for marine life during tests, but whenever the ship is moving. Lookouts aboard the ship are always searching for marine life activity and potential habitats they might need to avoid. For instance, ships will adjust their speed and course to avoid areas with known high concentrations of marine animals. They will also carefully catalog animal movements and migration patterns, restricting or limiting activity at times when whales, dolphins, and fish are particularly vulnerable, such as during breeding periods.
Unfortunately, the private sector is less concerned with disturbing sea life than the U.S. military. Oil and gas companies, for instance, often utilize seismic testing to locate potential reserves underneath the ocean floor. Studies show these blasts produce extremely loud and intense sound waves that can travel many miles underwater. These blasts can cause temporary or permanent hearing loss in marine species, including dolphins, whales, fish, and sea turtles. Seismic testing has also been shown to alter various marine animals' migration patterns. Feeding habits or breeding behaviors, which could have long-term effects on the entire ecosystem. Whenever marine life is in danger, the United States Coast Guard is available to help. Indeed, the Coast Guard has a long history of protecting marine life and enforcing laws related to the conservation of natural resources within U.S. waters. These men and women are responsible for enforcing the provisions of the Marine Mammal Protection Act, which provides protection for endangered and threatened species. They also help prevent ecological damage from overfishing and pollution. In some cases, the Coast Guard will even perform search and rescue operations for injured animals. One of the most critically endangered sea animals is the sea turtle. with nearly all species classified as threatened somehow. The U.S. Coast Guard plays a significant role in turtle rescue and tracking efforts. For instance, Coast Guard personnel will often collaborate with other organizations and government agencies to enforce laws and regulations aimed at safeguarding turtles and their habitats. In some cases, Coast Guard personnel will be called upon to rescue and even rehabilitate injured or stranded turtles alongside marine animal rescue centers. The U.S. Coast Guard also participates in turtle tracking programs, attaching tags to certain turtles so that they can monitor their movements, migration patterns, and habitats. This data is invaluable for researchers studying turtle behavior, conservation efforts, and assessing the effectiveness of protective measures. Many whale species are also critically endangered, though some, like the humpback whale, have made a startling recovery in recent decades thanks to human intervention. As with the turtles, the U.S. Coast Guard plays a significant role in protecting these animals and their habitats. However, they also take a more active role in whale preservation during disentanglement operations. This process focuses on assisting whales trapped or entangled in fishing gear, such as ropes, nets, or lines. Coast Guard personnel receive specialized training in marine mammal disentanglement techniques and work alongside other rescue organizations to safely free distressed whales and other large sea life. Unfortunately, due to their size, whales and dolphins are extremely likely to become entangled in discarded netting or fishing lines. This is why the Coast Guard highly recommends boaters and aircraft report any whale sighting. In the event there is a problem, they can get to the animal as soon as possible, freeing it before it becomes further entangled.
that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.